Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Cristiano Ronaldo set for talks with Manchester United over future. Ronaldo is expected to meet Eric Ten Hag this week. Ronaldo recently landed in Manchester. Uh, Ronaldo has not played any part in pre-season uh, due to personal reasons and Ronaldo had been training alone a number of clubs have been in for Ronaldo um, he's been linked with a loan move to Roma. His former club sport in Lisbon have been in for him. Uh, the other week, Ronaldo denied rumours of a return to sport in Lisbon. He described it as fake. Bayern Munich went in for him. He was offered to PSG. Um, not so long ago, he was offered to Chelsea. Uh, Barcelona made inquiries. So there you go. Um, and it's said that Ronaldo is set to sign for Atletico Madrid as he convinced Diego Simeone to bring him. Uh, Man United, it said, will only allow Cristiano Ronaldo to go out on loan. Ronaldo's contract at Manchester United expires next year. He is an option to extend for a further year. Ronaldo earns almost £500,000 a week, so he's the highest earner at the club. Man United did re-sign him last year from Juventus, so Ronaldo's in his second spell at Man United. Uh, since Ronaldo re-signed, he's got 18 goals in the Premier League. He has 24 goals in all competitions. Revert back to earlier on this year, Ronaldo won the Goal of the Season award and he got named as a Matt Busby Player of the Year. He's got a very good pedigree as a player, Ronaldo. He's won over 30 trophies in his playing career, including five Ballon d'Ors. Uh, more players are going to be leaving Manchester United. Uh, Alex Tellez, he's on his way out of the club, especially with Man United signing Terrell Malaysia from Feyenoord. Tom Eaton. He'll probably leave, but not until next year. He and he's now Man United's second choice goalkeeper. Because obviously Dean Henderson went out on loan to Nottingham Forest. Uh, Phil Jones, he's on his way out of the club. Phil Jones is not one of Man United's first choice centre halves. Um, he's only made like three or four Premier League appearances since January 2020. Um, at one point, Jones was out of a knee injury for a while. Uh, Jones has been a long-serving player at the club. He's enjoyed 11 years at Man United. His contract expires next year. Uh, Axel Tuanzebe, he's on his way out of the club. Uh, last season, he was out on loan with Aston Villa. He's enjoyed three loan spells with Aston Villa. Uh, Ronaldo. 
Uh, Anne Wan Basaka and Diego Dallo, you can say, are on the way out of the club. Uh, Lindelof and Fred could leave next year. Uh, Maguire, you know, he could still leave next year as well. So there you go. Uh, we've already seen players leave Manchester United this year. Uh, recently, Jesse Lingard joined Nottingham Forest on a free transfer. Uh, Dean Henderson also went out on loan to Forest. Um, earlier on this year, we saw Lee Grant retire. Uh, we saw Matic and Pogba leave the club. Um, Edison Cavani also left. And we saw Juan Mata leave. And Andres Pereira left. And quite a few young players went as well. So there you go. And uh, so far this summer, Manchester United have made three signings. You know, Manchester United did sign Terrell Malaysia from Feyenoord. Uh, Man United signed Christian Eriksen on a free transfer. Christian Eriksen did sign a three-year contract. And recently, Manchester United signed Lisandro Martinez. So they're the signings we've made so far this summer. You know, we'll try to get one or two more signings in. You know, don't forget Man United are still trying to get Frankie Dion from Barcelona. Uh, we're trying to get Anthony from Ajax. You know, we've been linked with a lot of players. Uh, you can say that Eric Ten Hag has enjoyed a good start to his managerial career at Man United. Uh, so far, we've played four games in pre-season. Manchester United have won three out of four. We drew the other one. And like I said, I've got a lot of faith in Ten Hag. You know, I do believe he's going to make Manchester United competitive again. You know, you've got to admire what Ten Hag did when he was at Ajax. Because when he was at Ajax, he won every device titles, he won Dutch Cups. And revert back to 2019, he got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals and he developed the young players well. But like I've said on my recent videos, you know, the Premier League is totally contrasted to the Dutch League. And this is the first ever time that Ten Hag is managing in English football. But yeah, Ten Hag's Man United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. He is. Uh, Ten Hag has got a contract with Man United until 2025. There's an option to extend for the further year. Uh, Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren are working alongside Ten Hag at Man United. Earlier on this year, we saw Ralph Rangnick leave Manchester United. So obviously it said that Rangnick would not take up the consultancy role at Man United. Rangnick got appointed in as the head coach of Austria. Rangnick was Man United's interim manager for around five months or so. But yeah, five managers have left since Ferguson. That's Moyes, Louis van Gaal, Mourinho, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick. Uh, 
Uh, don't forget uh, Richard Arnold and John Murta for at Man United. And to be fair, they've done good transfer business. You know, Man United made the right decision getting Arnold and John Murta for him. You know, Arnold is the CEO. He did replace Ed Woodward. And John Murtiff is our director of football. And I said Man United needed a director of football because that's one of the structural changes we needed at the club. And obviously we've still got the Glazers at Manchester United. You know, the Glazers have owned the club now for a long time. They've owned Man United for around 17 years. They bought the club for £500 million back in 2005. You know, for a while the vast majority of Manchester United fans were protesting against the Glazers. Earlier on this year, don't forget the Glazers taken out eleven million for dividends. You know, in the last ten years or so, Man United have spent over what one billion pounds. Brought over forty odd players in since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon.